Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Game Over. And welcome to this guide, where I'm going to show you how you can repair a CD or a DVD that are scratch. As you can see, this Medal of Honor Rising Sun is really scratch, and we are going to resurface it. So I'm just going to show you guys how scratch it is by putting it into my PlayStation 2. And as you can see it's saying there is no data. And that's because the CD is so scratch so the PlayStation 2 cannot read the data. So step number one. What kind of scratches can you repair on the CDs? And for the demonstration, I'm having a total new CD, so I can show you what kind of scratch you can repair. So first I'm gonna show you the scratch you can repair. You cannot repair any scratches coming from the top. The CD or the DVD are built up with a label on the top made of a thin layer of plastic. The bottom of the CD or the DVD are made of a much thicker layer of plastic. In between these two layers there is a reflective aluminium layer and it cannot be damaged but because that's where all your data is, 0 and 1. So you cannot repair scratch if you write it on the, in, on, on the uh, top of the disc. Like you want to write your name, like this, so you know it's your CD. The problem is, it will go through and you can see it here and you damage the, uh, the aluminium layer between the two plastic covers. This kind of scratch you cannot repair. Also, you cannot repair scratches this too deep, that means scratches that goes too deep and you can see that after you have been grinding and polishing the CD you will still could see a line on the reflective aluminium layer. So what kind of scratch can you repair? You can repair small scratches like this that's not so deep and damaging the, uh, the aluminium layer. So small scratches you can easily repair. No problem. So if you want to write your name on the desk, I suggest that you get a CD pin for that. You can write on the top of the disc without any problems, without it going through and damaging the aluminium layer in between these two plastic layers. So after you inspected the CD to see if you can repair the scratches, you go to step number two. And step number two is smoothing the surface. And for that, I'm going to use a 2000 grit sandpaper first. And after that, I'm going to use a 2500 grit to smoothen the surface even more. Uh, don't go to 1500 or 1000. It's too heavy. I did that once and I had to polish for, for two hours to get the scratches away. So use these two numbers. So let's just cut a piece off so we can use. So that's the 2000. And here we have the 2500. Be sure it's wet grinding. So you're gonna use some water to make it even more soft. So it's not going to make so many scratches as the water will make it glide more easily and not making so many scratches, but smoothing the surface instead. So you're gonna go in a circle motion and keep smoothing the surface and turn the disc a little bit and keep going. You're gonna do that all over the CD. The 
when you have done the whole CD, you're gonna take some paper and check the scratches. If there's any scratches left, if there's more left, you wanna do it again. And as you can see, the surface is not shiny anymore because of the sandpaper. We're gonna polish it after this step and make the surface shine again. So when you are done with the 2000 grit and you can see the scratches has been removed, you can polish the plastic with uh, the 2500 grit paper before we are going to polish it with, uh, with some uh, paste. So when you're done smoothing the, uh, the CD or DVD with the 2500 grit, you're gonna clean the disc. And check the surface. Now it should be more smooth than the 2000 grit. If it's not, you're gonna continue with the 2500 grit. But I'm satisfied with the result right now, so I'm gonna go to step number three. So as you can see right now, the, uh, the surface is not shiny and we have to polish it to, uh, to make it shiny so the uh, PlayStation can read the data on the aluminum. And for that, you can use different types of polishing products. You can have the polishing paste from uh, Megurius. It's, it's blue and it looks like this. like this and then there's another one actually two this one is um, it's like 5000 grit and this is like 8000 grit so this one is the smoothest one of these two then we have toothpaste and yes this is toothpaste in the toothpaste there is some polishing material to make your teeth white and you can use that to polish the CD don't don't just put it on and let it sit for, for one hour I saw someone doing that on YouTube and that's totally wrong you have to polish the CD with the toothpaste because there's polishing material in the toothpaste for your teeth to make them white and as the last one I am having a solid plate of polishing material for plastic. This one is for a, uh, a rolling machine, uh, a machine where it's rolling and you can, you can put it on and you can put it on the desk. But I would not recommend this as uh, the machine is just like a round blade and it will make the surface not even smooth. And you have to do that to make the PlayStation read the data. So this one is not so good. But for now, I'm gonna try this one today. So give it a good shake and make sure the, uh, the cap is screwed on. Give it a shake so you can, you can blend the um, polishing material with the water inside. Or the liquid, whatever you want to pronounce it. Like that. And then you want some kind of a towel you can use to polish. A 
and then you just make circle motions like when you was smoothing the surf surface with the uh, sandpaper so you just do that again until the surface is clean and shiny And already now you can see it's smooth and a little bit more shiny, but I have to work more on this. But I will cheat a little bit because this method can take some time. So I'm gonna use a polishing machine with a sponge on. So first you want to put some polishing material onto the sponge like one, two, three, there we go, that should be enough. And then you put it onto the machine and you're just gonna hit the, uh, the disc so you can spread the polishing material, the polishing cream and then you can start polishing. When you're done polishing, you're gonna clean the uh, CD or the DVD and check the surface. So now, after the polish, it should be shiny and you should could see your own face in it. That means it's shiny enough to, um, to uh, go into the uh, PlayStation 2 or whatever you are going to use. So after you polish the CD, it should be nice and shiny, just like a mirror. You should could see yourself in it, otherwise it's not polished enough. As you can see, this is really shiny, thanks to my machine, and there's no scratches on it. You can even see the PS2 sign up here, all around, that's how shiny it is. So after that, you want to take it and hold it up against the, uh, the light, and if you can see some light coming through, in any scratches, that means the data are uh, damaged and the CD will not play. You can't re repair these scratches. I'm really satisfied with the resurfacing and the polishing, so I'm gonna go plug it into my PS2 and see if it's working. I'm 100% sure that was, this will work as it's polished and there's no damage to the data layer and it's shiny like a mirror. So if you do these simple steps and make sure that the data is not damaged, it's really easy and possible to resurface a CD or a DVD. So this game I'm working once again. Thanks for watching. I would really like to hear in the comment if this method was working for you.